Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, TaylorMade Creations. And tonight I'm going to give you guys an overview of how to make your calendar templates for your planners. And if we have time in the video, I also go over how I make the planner templates. Okay, so we'll start off with the calendar templates on how I make my calendar templates for my planners. And then if the video, video is not too long, I'll go into making other templates and I use Canva for those templates, okay? So welcome, if you're new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining us. And please remember to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Turn on the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave your comments down below in the comment box. And if you're not new, welcome back and thank you for joining me tonight. So if you want to know how I do my calendar templates for my planners, stay tuned to this video. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and get started. And for the calendar templates, I'm doing this on my iMac. So I don't have Word on this. Apple has something called Pages. But if you're using a Windows tablet or computer, you can do this in Word document, okay? And it's a matter of inserting tables and text, okay? So I have my pages, my program opened up here. And what I did, I'm gonna just go ahead and open up a new file so I can show you what I did on a new file. So I chose a blank template okay we're gonna start off on this blank template here and i go up top to where it says table click on it and they have different styles of tables that you can choose from to go ahead and make your calendar with and i just choose one of the blanks pretty much the blank white and gray one over here i can add the number of columns and the number of rows okay so I need seven seven columns to represent seven days of the week right here the rows I have five rows which is pretty much the basic standard for each month out of the year so I'm gonna go ahead and leave it and I'm gonna drag it and drag it out to the size that I like okay all right, so I have my seven days of the week and five weeks of the month, okay? I'm going to come up here, click up here, and then I'm going to hit text. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and change my font. I want my font to be Sign Painter, and I'm going to center it in the middle of the page, and I'm going to go ahead and change the font size. Let's put this in the middle. Let's hit update. I'm gonna go ahead and type my month in. I'm gonna start with January since it's the first month. And you can do January 2020 if that's how you want your, your calendar to look inside your planner, okay? And then here, and this, these are the options that's on pages that's on the Apple desktop laptop or iPad Windows it's gonna look a little bit different in the word program okay and so I want to go ahead and change let's see the alternating rows I'm gonna change it to like a pink color just to color coordinate with my planner that I have already Okay, so let's do that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting the days, the days of the month. All right, so I'm clicking over here. I'm looking at the alignment. I want it on the left alignment. I'm gonna go ahead and update the, the font size and I'll leave this as the regular font size, okay? 
Now we're gonna go ahead, let's see. Okay. January, the first day of January starts on a Wednesday. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Let's see, let's update the font size. I want my font size to be a little bit bigger. Let's go 15 on the font size. Let's update it. And we're just gonna go ahead and fill in the dates. And this will probably be a little bit the format and the way that you do it on the Word program will probably be a little bit different, but it shouldn't be too much different. But you can use those programs to make your calendars. And if we have time in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do my other templates inside of Canva using Canva.com. That's one of my favorite sites to do the designs and stuff on so once we're done here once i finish showing you how this looks we'll go over to canva.com and work on some of those templates for the planners so this here is pretty much it's simple and then from here you have the option to go ahead and print it out and this is the US letter size, so it's 8.5 by 11, which is the size that I do my planners in. Okay. Let's go ahead and fill this out. And I think January had 31 days. Yes, 31 days. All right. Okay, and let's go up here. And I'm just going to insert one table above it. Let's see, seven. And this is going to be where I put my. my days of the week okay so we don't get confused trying to figure out which day it is so pretty much basically what I did was I went ahead and inserted another table and I took it down to one row with seven columns okay so I'm gonna go ahead and change the front on this to match the month okay I'm gonna center this all right, so I'm going to start off with Sunday, Monday. Oh, I didn't hit update. Okay, let's update it so everything stays the same. Tuesday. And I'm just going to go ahead and complete filling in the days of the week. And I think I'm gonna make that font a little bit bigger so it's not too hard to see. Okay, so there you have it. Let's make this font a little bit bigger. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in the middle. It looks better if it's in the middle and not at the top of the the page. So this is pretty simple. It's pretty um, basic of what you'll have your um the, your calendar look like. Pretty basic. So I up, let's update this to size. 
Let's go down a size. I think that's a little bit too big. All right, let's be down a little bit more. Okay, let's leave it there. And I think this updated. When everything else updated, let's try and move it back. Let me see. Okay. Because I hit update, so it updated everything to align to the right side of the paper. So you have to do this separate. So you want every the days of the week to be centered. So this is pretty simple to do. Create your own months for your planners. Okay, and if you have pages, if you're doing it on your iMac or your um your MacBook or your iPad, you can use pages. And for the ones that has the window laptops and desktops, you can create this using the Word program. And it's pretty simple. Okay, and this is how it'll look. And then you just go ahead and print it out. And of course, you'll do it for each month. So you'll end up having to change the month and then fill in the correct dates for the days of the week okay all right now that i showed you guys how to do the months we're gonna go over to canva all right so we're here we're on canva okay and this is the home page and if you been watching me for a while you know I've done a few videos on canva so you know you need to have an account set up with canva you don't have to buy the pro version you just have to register and get an account with canva sign into it and once you sign into it it'll bring you here to the home page okay and right here it has search search designs templates and more okay so we want to work on templates for our planners put in planner I have a couple let's see let me stroll down my designs here's the ones that I've been working on so let's start with those okay so this this is the one that I've been working on for my planner okay let me go back to the home page and just show you from the beginning where you can search and they'll give you different templates for different planners and you can you can tweak it to your style to what you're looking for so i typed in planner and it brings up all of these planner and templates simple everything they offer everything weekly templates monthly templates meal plans workout templates they have it all schedule they have by the hour templates this is one that goes by the hour on each day so monday you have 6 a.m so it's every two hours 6 a.m 10 a.m and you can change the colors you click on this if your planner is basically pink you click on this change the color to pink and then of course you want to change the color of your letters okay so you pretty much just change it to match your color scheme okay so it is just it's so many templates that you have to choose from by type simply typing in planner you got work schedules to do lists chores for your kids if you want to make a schedule for your kids it has all kind of bill bill payment schedules meal plans it has all type of template sets for you to use and you can design them to fit 
your need, your style. That's the good thing about Canva. So let's see. The one that I am working on is in here somewhere. But look at all of the, the templates that you have to choose from. Okay. These are all here for you to use. Let's go back up. We're going to go over to the one that I'm working on, right? So this is the thing for my planner, the girl, the ultimate girl, girl boss planner. And I did a video on how I created that. Okay, I created a notebook, but I'm turning my notebook into a planner. So I'm just going to do some inserts and turn it into a planner, okay? So this is the template. I was trying to search for the original template that I started on. So this is the original template right here. So I clicked on the US letter size pink modern template. This is what they have to offer in Canva. This is their template. This is what I've turned it into to fit what I'm looking for to fit the, the look of my planner, okay? As you can see, I added some designs. I added the lines. I changed this to goals, upcoming events. Don't forget, you can change this to whatever you want. Appointments to fit whatever you want in your planner, okay? I'll put don't forget. You can make order books, you can make appointment schedules, everything in here, okay? You can change the colors if you like. You can add lines. So I'll go and show you how I added these lines. All right, so let's go back to the blank one or the one that they have, okay? So it says Henrietta's Planner. I'm just gonna put my ultimate planner just to give you guys a glimpse of how you can all right how you can personalize it so let's go over here to elements okay in elements they have different shapes and icons and charts and lines and grids that you can use okay and if it's free it'll say free at the bottom if you have to pay for it, it'll say, it'll have a money sign. And if you hover your mouse over it, it'll say this image can be purchased for only a dollar, okay? But I go for the ones that are free, because I like free. So this is one of the basic lines. Let's see, we could click on the lines and see all the lines that they have to offer. Let's see. The first one up top is the pretty basic line that you would use for your planners and stuff. Okay, so I clicked on this first one and it brings it here to the middle of the page. And of course it's too big. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to black. You can leave it with that gray color. It's your preference. It all depends on the background, your, the, back, the color of your background, okay? You can change it to whatever color you like. I can even change it to this pink color, okay? And then you wanna just size it and move it. Go ahead and size it. Okay. And if it's too, if it appears too wide, you just take your, your, your mouse, your cursor, move it in move it up and then you move it straight across to the right okay so the line appears to be a little bit smaller okay and then you want to duplicate it so you have the blue box highlighted around it and you hit duplicate and now we can go ahead and move them and space them 
however you like it, okay? You just hit duplicate. And go ahead and space them out. And those pink lines that you see right here is indicating that it's everything is lined up and it's in the center, okay? Let's just add a couple more. You can add as many as you like. It's pretty simple. So I, I, I really love Canva. Canva is one of my favorite programs to work in. You just got to get the hang of how it works. And once you get the hang of it, you can pretty much create any template that you want because they give you a basis of where to start. That's the good thing. They give you a basis of where to start. Now, okay, so we have our lines. And I know, let's see, when I complete mine, I think I'm going to change mine. I'm going to make my lines smaller. Like I just showed you, I'm going to make these lines smaller. And I may change the color. But I was thinking about putting an image in the background. I can show you how to put an image in the background. So let's go to Uploads. And let's choose one of my images that I already have uploaded that will go with this. So I choose this image and of course we don't want it to appear like it's on top because it's in the way of the lines. It's in the way of you writing anything, okay? So you're going to keep the blue box around it. And what you want to do is come up here to these little squares up here and it's the transparency, okay? You want to turn the transparency down. Down to where you can, where it appears to be behind your lines okay so you position it then you go to position and you want to send it to the back so now it brings your lines on top okay and if you want to go with darker lines you can go with darker lines you can take the transparency down more if you like okay so that's how you would add an image in the back so it appears to be behind your lines and it just gives your planner a whole new look, okay? And if you wanted to change these lines to black so you don't get confused with everything blending in, it's as simple as just highlighting them and changing the colors. Alright, so that's that and you can change it to whatever you like up here. You can change the font style. This is the playlist strip, the one that I like to work with, but you have all different font styles over here that's listed that you can select. But do be mindful that the ones with the crown, the gold crown, means you have to pay for it okay so before they let you print it out you don't have to pay for it okay so I like to stick with the free ones and let's see I'm going to say my ultimate planner okay and you could put 2020 in there or you can let's see 2020 daily daily planner okay nice right and you can add as many images as you like add take away the one in the back is just a personal preference I do think it's a nice asset to the planner page to have I wasn't quite done working on this when I started. I have to finish it up this week. I just wanted to come on and show you guys how you can create your own planner pages without paying tons of money, without being feeling like, without being intimidated with making them. It's easy. Canva makes it even easier for us to do all of our templates. It's so much more that you can do in Canva 
and I'll be sure to put out more videos to show you more things that you can do in Canva and it's basically free there are a few extra features with the pro with the pro membership of Canva but it's not necessary to have the pro version okay it's not necessary you can create your templates for your planners your calendars they even have calendar templates in here let's go back let's I'm going to show you this one last thing with the calendar templates. Okay, let's go to the home page calendar. This is the only one that's coming up. Let's see. Maybe they'll have more. Oh, I need to type in. I think I'm typing it in wrong. Let's see. Monthly. Yeah, monthly calendar. So when you're searching for the monthly calendar, you have to put in monthly calendars. And look at all the monthly calendar templates that come up. If you want to make your own monthly calendar template, you click on it. Choose one. Click on it. Let's wait for it to load. You can resize it. You want to resize it? Let's wait for it to load up. All right, resize. Of course, you want it to be in inches. My planners are 8.5 by 11. You're going to click resize. Bam. There you go. You don't even have to create it on Word or on pages. You can simply come to Canva and use one of their templates and you have your calendar for 2020. But if you want to do it the other way, use Word or Pages, you can do it that way or you can do it this way. And that's what I love about Canva. They make it easy, simple. And you can adjust this. You can make it as small or as big as you like. Okay, position it where you want it to be. And there you have it. You have, these are pages for your planners. And you have many to choose from. Many, okay. That's cute. You can always change the colors. Don't think because it's turquoise green and yellow that that's the color you have to use you can always change the colors they let you personalize it the way you want to personalize it okay all right so i hope this video was helpful and let me know what you think down below in the comments and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel hit that notification button so that you can be notified of when I upload new videos okay and if you're on Facebook please follow my Facebook group women of color craft and I'll see you in the next video